What's up people? So before I start a course on Hackflixel, I just want to run through a bit of what is under the hood. Um, just say a sentence or two about the technology that runs underneath Hackflixel to get it to work. So this is Hackflixel. It's, an, it's a 2D cross-platform game, game engine. It's probably one of the simplest game engines I've ever used in my life. And um, it's free, it's open source for anyone to use and it can compile to a lot of platforms, even some consoles, but that's a bit more involved to do. But out of the box, you can compile natively with the power packs to um, these seven different platforms. Uh, six if you want to take Flash out, but seven. Um, and these are the tools that make Flixel work. So I'll go through them one by one. First of all, hacks. So I've spoken about hacks quite often. It's uh, an open source high-level language um, that compiles to all these other languages. It Syntax-wise, looks very similar to something like JavaScript, TypeScript, ActionScript, and um, yeah, it's the underlining tool that runs um, behind all of Hackspixel. So you code hacks to compile to all these different platforms um, with Hackspixel. So the next thing is OpenFL. So um, a bit of backstory. Um, the reason why Hacks was created in the first place was because Action Script or Flash in general was dying. Um, and so Hacks was created to, to replace the fact that Flash wasn't being supported on all platforms. Um, this is a kind of layer on top of Hacks to support the old Flash APIs. So Flash had some really cool APIs for um, re rendering text, uh, rendering images, sprites, and all that stuff. And um, OpenFL was created on top of hacks um, to, to enable these APIs. So if I look at the documentation, just for a second, you can see everything it provides. So it provides um, things to do with displaying, 3D um, text rendering. It's actually even got some keyboard stuff here. So keyboard input stuff, um, just a lot of things it provides from the get-go that you don't have to code from scratch in hacks. Um, I'm not going to go through this in detail, but it is actually possible to make applications with just hacks and OpenFL. Um, the popular game Papers, Please um, was made with OpenFL. So just hacks and OpenFL, it, those are already powerful um, enough tools to make cool applications with. But on top of that, um, there's also Flixel. So keeping in tune with the kind of flash past, Flixel was a very old Flash game engine um, built with ActionScript 3 and it's used to make a few games but because it was built for Flash it runs on top of OpenFL and makes use of all the OpenFL um, API to, to get its features. So as you can see there are a lot of features here like cameras, uh, pathfinding replays, um, like gamepad input, different scenes, particles which aren't supported natively um, in OpenFL. So if I look at the Hacksflix API, you can see I can do search for gamepads here and it supports gamepads um, with the help of Lime, which I'll talk about later on. But as you, if I type that in here, OpenFL doesn't support gamepads out of the box. So there are some features supported um, in Hacksflixel, which came from Flixel. I mean, Hacksflixel has developed since the old Flixel, but yeah, there are features that have come along that work on top of the Flash API. Um, and there's one thing that I haven't mentioned yet, and it kind of works more or less together with OpenFL, something called Lime. So Lime is the way that applications in Hacks are kind of put together. So as I said before, Hacks can compile to many languages, but if you kind of write some audio to support Hacks, Lime is the thing that exports it to the audio for C++ or the audio for JavaScript or the audio for... Um, C Sharp or Java or whatever you export it to, it, it use Lime finds the correct things to to display that into a package. So Lime supports uh, audio windowing, windowing uh, low level rendering. So when you render kind of geometry or just text or anything like Lime will support that. Um, and yeah, there's a GitHub page for Lime here if you want to dive deeper into what it does. But yeah, like I said, windowing, uh, input events, audio rendering, context, network access is really popular as well. Um, to do with Lime assets and so yeah 
those are the three slash four main technologies behind getting hacks to make sort of work. I'm going to put some more links in the description of this video if you want to know more. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.